चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम इन दिस वीडियो विल डू वी हैव टू पास द वील एन ऑन द एसीआई पोर्ट ओके सो आवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज वी विल वी विल पास द वील एन 500 ऑन द पोर्ट 1 प्लस 1 ऑन द लीफ 101 ओके सो फ्यू ऑफ द आइटम्स आई हैव डिफाइंड व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पास द वील एन ऑन द पोर्ट इन द एसीआई ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एक्चुअली लेट मी क्विकली गो थ्रू दैट एक्चुअली वील एन पूल्स we are consider the villain pool name will be the infra and here we are going to the range of the villain pool okay and here we are going to the what will the physical domain name and here we are putting the what will the aet name okay and after that here i'm going to the leaf profile switch profile name okay and then switch profile name in the we are selecting a switch and we are attaching with the api infra and after that we uh, configure a interface profile ip is in the profile for leaf 101 putting and here we are selecting the port and the port also we passing this ipg ipg multiple uh, you can say bundle of the policy in the in the ipg again we are calling this aep infra ip in the group of the world, like we have to define the cdp policy correct and link policy like miss cabling protocol policy lldp policy so we have defined this ip policy and after that we go to the tenant in the tenant we create the bridge domain okay and after the bridge domain creating we will uh, Uh, go for the application profile and here put the application profile name and application profile will call the pdi bridge domain and physical domain and after we go for the starting binding to push the vlan on the physical port okay so this is the thing we have to do in this lab so let's jump to the configuration in the so before jumping to the fabric for the configuration uh, we will proceed with this order uh, in the ap configuration as most of the things are dependent on each other first we'll go for the vlan pool after that we'll get the physical domain and after that we'll go for the aep profile then after that we'll go the interface policy group and after that we'll create the interface profile and after that leaf profile after leaf profile we'll go to the tenant section and the tenant section we will see if the new tenant will be required we'll get the new tenant under that we get the application profile under the application file we get the epg and point group under the epg we will call the bd and same time we'll get the bridge domain also okay so this will the uh, you can the flow, flow order or you can say order of the uh, uh, object how we we'll create so here we are in the ac fabric here we have to go first we go to the fabric under the fabric we need to go to the access policy so now we are in the access policy first we need to create the vlan pool so here we go to in the enter the pools in the vlan pool and let's enter the right click here with the vlan pool Okay, I'm just copying based on the name here. We have decided we will put the VLAN name is Infra, and here I'm putting the static allocation, and here I'm going to put the range 500 to. We'll go to 510, 510. Testing and keeping the default. Okay, so finally we created the VLAN pool. now the next step is we need to create a physical domain where you can see that and the physical external domain and we will go with the physical domain not with the entry domain entry domain is the routed domain okay so again same way with the right click let's we copy the name this is the we have decided as per the solution document so and here i am attaching the vlan pool we have created in the vlan pool submit and after that we will create the aeep application as a dependency profile aeep we need to create and aeep will be able to find in the policy in the policy global here you to in the policy you need to go in the global and here you can see that attachable access entity profile if you do the right click we need to create the entity profile here i am putting the name okay and after that here i'm attaching the domain let's click it you will set the domain this is the physical domain we have created just for that update and then next we need to do that and that's it so we have defined the so far we have defined the vlan pool and physical domain and aep now we will proceed for the now let's go for the interface policy group ipp there is a leaf interfaces ipr and here is it 
here in the policy group we need to create the we are not going for the port channel and virtual port channel so we're going to set policy group where we're selecting the leaf access port ipg group or ipg port group i'm putting the name here pg infra and here i'm attaching the aep which we have created this is the main thing you have to attach and rest of the things i have shown to that in the ipg is the ultimately bundle of the policy we can create the one one policy like for the mpc correct i am not creating that i am using the default one we calling for the policy like lldp we can create the new policy also it's showing the option for the creating a new and we will the default okay these are the things we can do that so we have created the ipg also so so far we have covered the vlan pool correct here we have defined the vlan pool this is the pool name we have defined and after that we have defined the physical domain here we have defined the physical domain this and after that we have defined the aeep correct in the policy in the policy in the global here we have defined the aeep and aep is further calling to the physical domain correct so now we'll jump for the and after that we have defined the uh, ipg interface policy group what are the policy we want to put on the uh, interface so that policy we have defined here in the interface section in the leaf interface this is the policy group so this is the index of leaf access port we have defined so we have covered the vlan pool physical domain aep and then the policy group so now we have to define the interface profile leaf interface profile in the profile if you do the right click leaf interface profile so let me copy the name of the leaf interface profile to decide ipr leaf 101 you decided so this is the name of our document and here we have to select the port on the so i'm going to, I'm, as we are going to uh, take the port number one i'm mentioning the port number one name here and here i'm putting the port number one slash one so this is the here it's asking the interface policy group so this is the why we have to create the ipg first and after that we only have to proceed for the leaf interface profile as we have now ipg ready i'm calling ipg here this is and done so we've done that and here if you see that in the ipr this is if we click on the ipr here you can see that we have an ipg call policy group is called so once we've done that ipg and interface profile and after that let me restart it again for you okay it's done so after that we need to jump in the which is here we go for the switch profile earlier we have created the leaf interface profile now for the switch profile okay once on the switch profile let me right click in the leaf profile earlier we get the leaf interface profile near now we are proceeding with the leaf profile so again i'm putting the name let's not copy this and let me copy it okay here it is now we have to select the leaf selector ultimately uh, previously we set the interface now we are selecting a leaf on which switch that port will belong to one slash one so we are putting the name leaf one slash one and block from this block you have to select it here is in the leaf 101 these are the other 103 and 104 are the spine s103 so given the name okay so i selected it and it's updated okay and also is asking for the policy group so that is not required so we'll only put the leaf selector in the leaf we will select and after that the leaf so this is the interface we have select finish here if we see in the leaf profile if i click on the leaf profile so we can see that leaf profile we have an this leaf selector where we select the leaf and after that we have selected the associate interface in the next we will go for the tenant for the epgn application configuration so let's jump to the tenant side we have to click on the tenant okay so let's suppose we have to create the new tenant also let's create new tenant here add tenant and tenant for the let's say i put the name for the infra submit so here we can see that common infra management okay infra so this is the caps infra create the new tenant i'm clicking on the tenant so here we are on the infra tenant 
now we have go for the inter application profile in the application profile we need to create a new application profile i'm going to right click create new create application profile and we have decided the name for the application profile will be put the same name and i'm putting the the AP, application profile VLAN 500 putting so after that in the application profile we need to create this EPG so EP endpoint group so endpoint group I mentioned here and from here it's asking me to uh, create a bridge domain I'm creating a bridge domain also so in the bridge domain I'm giving the name PTI bridge domain interface 500 and that's it next we are not going to configure any ip address on the bdi and that's it default so i select the bdi now and here he asks me to select the domain we should create the domain the access policy physical domain i have typed it okay after that let's say we have updated it okay submit So here we are in the application profile so now in the application profile we have to go inside here if we go to the application profile we have an EPG which we have created so far here we have gone the static port if you do the right click so let's deploy static EPG on the port channel or VPC or whatever here we are going to single interface only so I'm select the port here we are asking for the select the node so it's populating node leaf 101 asking the port i put the one slash one it asks for the vlan as you have decided for the solution dog you will pass the vlan 500 immediate i want to deploy it that's it and i will go the trunk or you can go with the access whatever is required next finish okay so we have done this so similar way let's verify is configuring uh, pushed on the port or not so let me log into the epic so we have logged into epic so verify the configuration of the configuration done let's check show run configuration for the leaf on the leaf 101 on the interface we have selected the eth one slash one the configuration we should be able to see that we push the configuration with respect to vlan so here you can see that run this command show running on leaf 101 interface one slash one so in the leaf context here we have this interface under this info interface we have configured this policy group which have defined ipg infra and after that we have passed the vlan switch port trunk allowed vlan 500 and this is the tenant name we have created this is the application profile and this is the epg name which got deployed okay so finally we have seen that how we can do that with the help of manually how we can push the single interface configuration on the uh, acl leaf port in the next uh, video, we'll see how to configure similar configuration with the help of XML file. And after that, same configuration we'll try to push with the uh, Terraform.